I think the interesting thing about shooting in black and white, whether it's film or digital, photo or video, the black and white spectrum itself is pretty sensitive to color filters. And depending on the color of the subject that you're shooting and the color of the filter that you put on your lens, you can get some pretty dramatic color shifts. And for today's video, I'm going to be experimenting with some of these color filters to see the side effects that they have on black and white photography. I have three filters with me today. The Hoya 25A red filter, the Hoya 80B blue filter, and just for fun, the Hoya circular polarizer. For this video, I'm just going to take four different shots. One with just standard black and white, no filter, one with the circular polarizer, one with the red filter, and then one with the blue filter. At the end, we'll just put them all side by side to see how the different filters affect the image. And now that we know how the setup is going to be, let's get started. This experiment has been something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now because I've actually never used color filters before today. And I bought one for the F3 over here, but never finished that roll of film. So I guess if I ever do finish it, I'll see how that went. Even though, like I said, I've never used color filters before, I did do some research and found this chart. It gives us a good idea of what will happen to certain colors when a certain colored filter is applied. Again, for this experiment, I had a red and a blue filter. The polarizing filter is meant to reduce glare and slightly increase contrast. I just included it in this experiment because I had one line around and thought, why not? I didn't really expect it to produce any extreme changes, so again, it's more for fun. If we look at the chart again, I think the important things to pay attention to are the white and black bars and what color they correspond with. Looking at the red color filter column, we see that if this filter is applied and you shoot a red subject, the red will actually become lighter. Shooting blue and green subjects will make those colors darker. For the blue filter, blue subjects will show up lighter and red subjects will be darker. The red and blue filters that I use are more of the extremes. They produce more drastic color changes. If you don't want such extreme color shifts, you can go with something lighter. For example, using a yellow or orange filter instead of a red filter. 
So now that we understand the basics of these color shifts, how does the generalization of the chart hold up? I was surprised to see the first set of barn photos or at least their results. Again, I didn't expect much from the polarizer, but I thought that the red filter would affect the greens toward the top of the barn much more. The blue filter was also a bit different from expectations as I thought that it would affect the reds of the barn much more, making them darker than the red filter, but it just looks like it's just a slight bit darker. Unfortunately, when I took these pictures, it was complete overcast, which ended up making the sky look washed out and gray in most of the pictures. In this second comparison with the tractor, we do see a bit more of a difference in the tractor itself. The red filter did make the bluish greenish tones of the tractor look darker than when the blue filter was used. Again, we can see the effects of the colored filters in this next example. The red filter made the red barn lighter while the blue filter made it much darker. Also in this example, if you look at the portion indicated on screen, this is actually a red wall divided into horizontal slabs. The red filter really lightened those tones while the blue filter made it so dark that we can barely even make out the horizontal lines that divide the wall. Fortunately the sky started to clear up and the blues were more visible in the next couple of photos. This is where the red, orange, and yellow filter really shines and where people would typically use them to darken the sky and make it look more contrasty and moody. After looking over all of my photos and seeing the results, I would have to say that I'm liking the red filter the most as it offers those contrasty black skies that just makes the photo look really moody and seems like it's going to storm in every photo, so I'm really liking this. The blue filter is kind of a hit or miss because I, I don't really see myself using this. Uh, I guess if I ever need to lighten blue subjects, I'll use it, but like I said, this will probably never be used again. The circular polarizer is nice because it reduces glare and increases contrast a little bit, but I never really had a problem with glare. I never really minded it. So this, again, is another hit or miss. I, I think it works out better in digital than film as, in terms of today at least, it didn't really seem to make too much of an impact. I think if you're interested in trying colored filters for the first time, I would highly recommend it just because you can get them for rather cheap. I got the blue and the polarizer together for 10 bucks. The red filter was another 10 bucks. So all three of these filters were only 20 bucks. So really cheap when you consider the price for other filters today. And this is really because no one uses these anymore. Really, the only people who use them are film people. But really, like I said at the beginning of this video, these filters work for all media. If you're shooting in black and white, it'll work. Doesn't matter if it's film, digital, photo, or video, the colored filters will work and give you the same results across the board. So again, for the price, I think it's hard to pass up on these colored filters and just experimenting with them because you never know, it might open up a whole new world for you. And like I said, for 10 bucks, I think it's kind of worth it. I would definitely try it out and I would recommend you to do so. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll put links in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.